Samuel Deal was born March 31st, 1822 in Shippensburg, Pennsylvania. He was a harness maker by trade. At the age of 24, he enlisted as a private in the Pennsylvania Volunteers so he could do battle in the Mexican War. After a fierce battle, Samuel was wounded in the side, yet he entered Mexico City with his battery of four guns and eight horses and camped in the Central Plaza on the day it was captured. When the war ended, he married Miss Jane Blair in Pittsburgh, and they lived first in Missouri before heading out west, arriving in 1849. Now, he mined for a short period of time on the South Fork of the Yuba River, but when he returned and settled in Sacramento, he was made captain of the Sacramento Police Department. Now, when he was inducted as captain, there was a very ugly element in the criminals of Sacramento. People openly gambled in the streets. Deadly encounters were a nightly occurrence. Seems folks who had left their families thousands of miles away felt under no moral obligation to behave themselves, and their conduct was worthy of the culprits on the prison brig. <sighs> this job required great nerve and bravery, which Samuel clearly had. His harrowing experiences in the Mexican War probably paled in comparison to his dealing with criminals in Sacramento at the time. He was clearly good at his job because when he left, Sacramento was considered one of the most orderly and law-abiding cities in the state. After his time as police captain, he served in a prominent position in the state treasurer's office. He moved to San Francisco in 1875. He was immediately snapped up to be chief detective of the Central Pacific Railway Company. His courage and sagacity led to the arrest and conviction of criminals who had destroyed and nearly destroyed the lives of others through forgery, perjury, arson, and other heinous crimes. He was clearly a tough guy when it came to dealing with the criminal element, yet his friends and fellow members of the Sacramento Pioneer Association remember him as a humble, modest, and very kind man.